hear me? Hello? Okay. Okay. Hey, Jake. Hello? Hey, I can hear you. Hey, I can hear you. Okay. So you said 9 through 15? Uh, 6 to 15. Uh, 6 to 15. Okay. The link that you send me has starts at 9. Is that a page before this? Um, there's two links, sir. Yeah. Um, there's two links, yeah. Okay, so there's question six. It's the, the horse on a carousel is four meters from the central axis and the carousel rotates at point one revolutions per second. How long does it take the horse to go around? Twice, right? So yeah. the radius is four meters. Yeah. What else do they give us? What does point one revolutions per second mean? That's the we can get the omega from that the w how by multiplying two pi times anything in revolutions per second because we need to make revolutions per second into radians per second so we have to multiply this number point one. Is that fine? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how's the connection? Is it really bad? Uh, it's fine, I think. Uh, it's fine, I think. Okay. And then how long does it take the horse to go around twice? Uh, what are they saying? What is that twice that they're talking about? That's two full turns, right? So what is two full turns? Two times two pi. So theta is in radians. Yeah. This and omega is in radians per second. Does that make sense? Yeah. So this is what's given to us. This all this is given to us. And what is being asked here? 
How long does it take for it to go around twice? How long does it take, right? What is being asked, Jacob? How long does it take for it to go around twice? Yeah, so in terms of like variables, time. what are they looking for? What are they looking for? Force, meters, distance, time, what are they looking for? Time. Time. So, what equation can we use? We have those equations we use in kinematics, but now in rotation. Mm -hmm. Something with omega, theta, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we need t. So, what is the basic formula? Omega equals theta over t, just like v equals distance over time same but in rotation so what is omega omega is right 2 pi times 0.1 right what is theta mm -hmm. 2 times so 2 times 2 pi over t is that fine Mm -hmm. There's 2 pi on both sides, so I can divide both sides by 2 pi, just doing that. And then I can do, I can do what, many, one of many tricks. I want to find what t is, so I can cross multiply 0 0.1 times t, 0 0.1 times t equals 1 times 2. So what is t? t is 2 over 0.1. Yeah. Which is 20. Does that make sense? Yeah. Take a look at it and uh, okay. make sure that it makes sense. And we can move on. Not, uh, ask me a question. Okay, I'm good, I see. Okay, I'm good, I see. Right? We just right. we're writing what's given to us and we're looking for what's our same method, but now we're in rotation. That's the only difference, right? So now they ask how fast is a child on the horse going in meters per second. So now they're asking for V. Let me just put it on the last page itself. So now they're asking for V. And V has a nice formula. What is V? Radius times omega. So what do we do? What do we multiply? We multiply 4, which is the radius, times omega. So we just have to remember the two major formulas we remembered in this, I mean we used in this uh, question is this guy, which is like this, from before, and this guy. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Let me know if it's uh, if it doesn't make sense. Then. Okay. So, yeah, question okay. seven. What's being given? Jacob. They give us the radius. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. And that's all. Uh, did you hear me? I was asking you what's given in the question. So R is given. And that's all. What's the value? R? One um, to find the magnitude of the Earth uh, velocity. Usually they tend to just give us one piece of information. There has to be something else.
um, to find the magnitude of the Earth uh, velocity and centri centri acceleration. Um, the Earth's velocity. Well, in orbit is uh, uh, sixty-five Are you sure they only gave so us radius? Is there anything else? Can't you convert it? Given in the question, seconds. a number or anything? Um, well, in orbit is, uh, 365 days, so, can't you convert it to seconds? Yeah, what is that? That's the period. T yes. equals, mm -hmm. very good, 365 days. And how do you convert it? Each day has 24 hours, and each hour has 60 minutes. And each minute has 60 seconds. Is that, is that fine? Yes. Days to hours, hours to minutes, minutes to seconds. So now we got the period. We have the R. They're asking for the V. And there's a nice equation that ties the Okay, all. can you let me go to the you want to remember. T equals 2 pi R over V. So now can you find V? I'll find V on my side. Tell me what you get. Okay, can you help me that on the side? Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. Exactly. And I'll argue with you. That's fine. B. Okay, hold on. Yep. 
Good. Oh, what did I do wrong? Uh, that's a very big number. I got twenty-nine thousand eight hundred and eighty-five. It should be right. I got this number. Oh. Oh. Yeah, when you divide those two numbers, you can't be getting this huge number here. Yeah, do this again, Jacob, this part. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I just there calculated. There are 11 tens on top here. 11 tens here, there are 7 tens here. You can't, you can't have a huge number. Um, yeah. we use the equation. Yeah, I just calculated the number. I'm not right. looking at the equation at all. Always make sure we plug in the numbers right. And sort of I'm not sure. Let me look at the sheet. So that was the velocity. Now, how do you find the centripetal acceleration if you have the velocity? Oh, okay. I'm um, use the equation. Okay. We use the equation. What is the equation? Yep. I'm not sure. Let me look at the sheet. No, no, it's fine. It's v squared over r, right? So this is a good equation to memorize. Because you keep using it again and again. Um, right? Centripetal acceleration. Is this the equation you had in mind? This is the one, right? Always. Okay. They say centripetal acceleration. There's only one equation you want to think of. Yep. So then we go to 8. Okay, good. Yeah, we square that.
Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Point zero zero six point zero zero five nine. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next one. So question 8, modern wind turbines are larger than they appear and despite their apparently lazy motion, the speed of the blade tips can be quite high. Typical modern turbine has... So what all is given to us? <coughs> I don't know what it is. No, like good and what's the next one so what is it like I know the 56 meters is the radius but what is the 13 RPM is that the velocity I don't know what it is what is RPM from our last question it's revolutions it's just like the same thing we saw in the last no, question like So what is it like? I don't think 56 meters is the radius, but what is it like? What we did in the last question is we did W. It's angular velocity. This is frequency. Frequency is 13. That means it's turning 13 times per minute. So you need to convert it from frequency to omega, and how do you make omega, Ang which is his angular velocity, angular velocity, and how do you get angular velocity, you need to make it radians per second, right? So what do you do to make it radians, you multiply by 2 pi, and to make the minute seconds, yeah. you divide by 60. So if you get the, always look at the units, if it's an RPM, you have to make it radians per second. How do you do that? The revolutions, you make it radians by multiplying by 2 pi. The minutes, you make seconds by dividing by 60. Yeah. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay. So we got W, we have this, we have R. And what are they asking us? At the tip of the blade, what are the speed? So they're asking us for V. Isn't that a nice and easy equation? What is V? V is R W. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Hello. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, Jacob, what did you get? Did you get the answer? Oh, wait, hold on. I got 76 meters per second. Let me know if you got that. It's kind of fast. Hold on. Get the math right. So you multiply the radius. Which okay, is yeah, I got six times the W, right? Just like we did in the last question. Last we multiply fifty six times two pi. 
Does that make sense? Hold on. Okay, yeah, I got some of these. Yes. You got seventy six point two. Yes. Okay. Okay. The radius is thirty meters. Your roommate is working on his bike and has the bike upside down. He spins the seventy centimeter diameter wheel and you notice the pedal yes. stuck in the tread goes three times every second. What are the pedal speed and acceleration? So, what's given in this question? You can tell me and I'll write it. Let it be faster. Or you can write it too, whatever you want to do. Okay. The radius is 30 meters. 30 uh, centimeters. So we need to make it meters. Good point. So what do we do? We say 0.3. Yeah. You want it in meters all the time, right? And you notice know, uh -huh. that the pedal yeah. stuck in the track goes 3. What does that 3 times every second mean? It's tricky. What does it mean if you were looking at a wheel? Right. The wheel, the pebble in the wheel is spinning three times every second, right? Isn't that like three revolutions per second? Does that make sense? Revolution means turn. So three revolutions, three turns every second. Okay. So what do, what do we usually do to that? That is frequency. What do we? How do we get W from it? W is 2 times. pi times 3. 2 pi times. So what is W? Um, omega. It's not W, it's omega. 6 pi radians per second. So we have W and we have R. Now they're asking us for R speed, pebble speed. And what is the equation for speed? Equation for speed, which is V, is... Do you remember? Yeah. Um, right? Look at this one over here. What did we do here? R times W. Yep, R times W. In every question, right? We use R times W. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it would be 0.3 times 6 pi. Yeah. So that would be 1.8 pi meters per second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, normal. Now, they're asking us for acceleration. Is it sent Are they asking us for centripetal acceleration or are they asking us for normal acceleration? Mm -hmm. Oh, normal. Normal acceleration. If it was centripetal acceleration, it would be V squared over R. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 I think it's just V squared over R squared. So we just do this guy squared. Yeah, I can get to it. V squared over R. We divide it by the radius. What question is it? Do you have the right answer for that one? Is the solution there in the back of the book? I'm sorry. Is the is there a solution for these questions or the solution set? The answers? Yeah, I can teach you. 
Yeah. Let's look up nine and let's see if we get it right. What question is it? Question nine. What number was this? Hmm. Okay. It's um five point seven meters second and one ten meters second squared. What number was this? is uh number nine right number nine 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 it's um seven point seven uh. meters second and one ten meters second squared. Okay yeah that's correct. I got 107 meter per second squared, so that's rounded to 110. And velocity was this, which is 1.8 times pi should be what you were saying. It's 5.4. So really, it's only these two equations. I mean, this um, whole chapter, yeah. so all these questions are just these two equations. We keep doing it again. The only thing you have to remember is they'll give it to you like this, so you'll have to multiply by 2 pi, and if it was per minute, so always look at the units. If it was per minute, we'd have to divide it by 60 or so. And we'll just do the, uh, these next. So find this, then find this, then use that. I only have time for like two more of these, so let me right? just do, um, I only have time for like two more, so can we do like, uh, number 10 and 11? Wind turbines designed for Are you wait, um, do you think we should uh, wait, think we should go over one of the other ones instead of ones that might be different between them? Which ones, Jacob? I only have time for like two more of these, so can we just do um, I only have time for like two more, okay? So can we do like uh, yeah, number 10 and 11, okay. Uh, pretty, wait, um, we should go over one of the other ones instead of once it might be different between them. Yeah, because 10, I'll just quickly tell you, 10 is the same thing. Radius is 40, uh, frequency is 17, so you have to multiply 17 by 2 pi, right? And you have, it's per minute, yeah. it's per minute, so you have to divide it by 60. So that's the same question, just follow the same steps. 11 is... Okay. Uh, 11 is, they give you the radius, 12 meters. They tell, they're asking you for speed, V. They give you acceleration. Acceleration is 10G. So 10G, 10 times 9.8. Okay. So and that's the equation that ties up later. acceleration, speed, and radius. A equals V squared over uh, R. Do you should and you find V squared. Okay? Um... Okay. okay, so 11 radius is given. I'm just going to write the equations here so you know which equations to use. Yeah, 13. Um, 12. So you wanted to look at 13 or? Okay, which one do you want me to look at? Keep the shooting. Um. I think 13 is good. Let's do 13. Right. 
Okay, so figure 6.13 in a bird's eye view of a particle on a string moving in a horizontal surf circle on a tabletop, all are moving at the same speed. Uh, rank in order from large right. to small retention yeah. T. So they have circle, circle. So what's the idea here? There's a string, right? So they're asking us to rank the tension in the string. So what do we know that if for this body, mg is down and tension is this way. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's for each one of those questions, that's the case. So they all have the same mass. So which one will have the smallest tension? Smallest tension. But yeah, okay. So remember we remember we said F C equals M V squared over R. Remember this? Okay. Four. Yeah, from our uh, when we met. So what is F C here? That's tension minus M G. Okay. Equals m v squared over r. So for tension to be big, this thing has to be big. So when you look at the four, when you look at the four circles, in one circle v is the first circle v yeah. is normal, and r is normal. In the second circle, v is normal. V is, v is normal. Uh, r is two r. It's just because of the two, the two this, in the no. denominator, this will be smaller than this. If I call this T1 and this T2, T2 we already know is smaller yeah, the than T1. Is that fine? V on all of them. Yeah. For tension 3, what is the velocity? Are you? Uh, yeah. You're looking. Shush. Correct. Oh yeah, the the mass is two m, right? Velocity is v, right? All of them. The mass now is two m, so instead of m here, instead of this m, I'll put two m. And what's the radius? Radius is r, right? So isn't this is this number bigger than these two? Yes. So bigger than all this is T three. Then finally T four. What is the mass? Mass is two m. Velocity is v. Velocity is v. Radius is two r. So the two and two cancel. Yeah. Two and two cancel. So you just get mv squared over r. So it's the same as the first guy. Okay, I got so that. the first guy is equal to the fourth guy. So if you have to order them, you yeah, would say t3, more. t4, t1, and t2. Is that fine? Smallest to biggest. Yeah. You understand the concept. It's just that equation, mv squared over r. Fourteen, shall we do fourteen? Yeah, I don't know. So in a short speed so say sections and uh, straight sections and semicircles, sixteen meters in diameter, so we know radius is eight meters, mass is sixty five kgs. Going at constant meter per second, so velocity is 12 meter per second. What is the horizontal yeah, so force on the skater? 144 so when somebody is going in a circle, we know that there is a force. What is that force? Fc equals mv squared over r. So they're asking us what is that yeah. force? So what is the force? 65 times 12 squared over 8. Is that fine? Yeah.
Yeah, so that would be 144 divided by 8 times 65. Yep. Okay? And you'll get a number for that. That's what it is, 1170. Yeah. Part B, they say what is the ratio of this force to a skater's weight? So whatever number you get here, put it divided yeah, by the weight of the skater. What is the weight? Weight is M times G. So 65 times 9. Okay. So this isn't zero. This is some whatever number you plug in that. That's more than 770. Okay. 770 Newton. Good stuff. You divide that by that and you get the ratio. Is that fine? Yeah, and then that's Okay, let, uh, let's just yeah. finish up with 15. It's very easy, 15, okay? okay. What is given? That's mass. Blue. Same steps. Mass, 0.2 kilograms. It's in grams, so we have to make it kilograms. What is else given? 50 centimeter uh, long string. It's a string. So whenever they give you the string's length, that's the radius. So what is radius? It's in centimeters, so we have to make it meters, so 0.5. Is that much fine? Yeah. And then what is this thing they gave us? What is 75 RPM? That's me. What should we do to it? Do you remember? Uh, the two. Uh, Very good. It's rev RPM is revolutions per minute. We have to make it radians. So to make it radians, we multiply by 2 pi, so this becomes radians. And per minute, so we have to make it seconds. So we divide by 60, so this is W. So we have W, we have V, we have, we have R, we have M. What are they asking us? What is the speed of the block? So what is the speed? Yeah, v I do. Equals R, W. So we multiply this times that. Second question, what is the tension in the string? Tension equals M V squared over 